electricity meter. This instrument is made by Sangamo Western and is the model number S200.16. For those who have been keeping track of my videos, you're probably wondering uh, whether or not I've already done this uh, make and model of electricity meter. This is the clock dial, uh, not the clock dial, this is a cyclo dial variant. The other one that I've done is the clock dial variant. Sangamo Western made two versions of this instrument. The first one would have been the clock dial variant, and then this, this one would have followed with the cyclo dial variant. As such, these, this one shares the same characteristics as the clock dial variant, of which is 240 volts, 50 hertz alternation frequency. 40 amps maximum loading capacity, single phase to wire, and has a load wheel characteristic of 250 revolutions per kilowatt hour. Once again, it also features the float on magnetic bearing. This meter was first calibrated and put into service in 1967. There is a gold label on the front of that which indicates that it was recalibrated in 1992. The S200.16 has a recalibration period of 25 years and as such the most recent calibration on this one will expire in 2017. There's the specification plate then. As it can be seen in the serial number down the bottom there, the S67C indicates when it was first calibrated and put into service. The 92NE gold label that is on the display window there indicates when it was last calibrated. It can be seen on the specification plate at the bottom over to the left. It says Sangamo Western Limited, Enfield, Middlesex and England. Just like its other clock dial variants, there's the load wheel surrounded by a frame in which is mounted the accuracy magnets. Once again, it has a pair of accuracy magnets above the load wheel and a pair of accuracy magnets below the load wheel. This one has a straight road numbers readout there and is currently reading 29,053 kilowatt hours. The red number is one tenth of a unit and is currently reading 0.9. It should also be noted that these numbers move down as indicated by that arrow over to the right. Most other instruments, the numbers move upwards. This can cause a bit of confusion, uh, but it should be observed as to the direction of that arrow when reading off the reading so that you know what number is coming up next. This electricity meter it is extra ex electric board stock. Uh, the previous owner was Southern Electricity Boards. Uh, I managed to grab this one straight out of service and as such it has its original anti tamper seals as can be seen there on the bottom of the of the meter casing and there is also one on the top just there uh, this electricity meter it does feature the uh, what's the thing I'm looking for the stiff rigid type of wire I'm just trying to adjust that focus on the anti tamper seal because the uh, camera has focused on the rest of the casing let's see if I can adjust that in there we go just there you can see the anti tamper seal now on the top there so this one utilizes the stiff rigid pieces of wire with a tubular section and as you can see uh, the camera has managed to focus on it that's the anti tamper seal has an embossing mark in it and I think that says PCS. 
So there we go. So that is probably the initials of the meter calibrator or something like that. There will be a, n a number in the other side of that, but it cannot be turned around because this uh, anti-tamper seal is of, is of one where it's got the stiff, rigid piece of wire there, and they are, as a... Uh, as the name suggests, it's quite stiff and rigid and not very wieldy, unlike the other types where it's a thinner piece of steel wire and a lead seal. A little bit later on, we shall be getting this one up in front of the camera again, and we shall be powering it up, and you'll be able to watch the load wheel go around in there and watch it register a small load. Also, what I would like to do is, just for comparison reasons, in another video, would be to bring that one up in front of the camera again, along with the cyclodial variant, and we shall be able to examine the differences between the two. Thanks for watching this one. Do stay tuned, because there are more electricity meter videos coming up later on, as and when.